Here's why all players could get Primogems as compensation. Not too long ago, Ayaka and Shinha banners started, and along with them, Mika was released. Hoyoverse recently issued an announcement saying there's a known issue with Mika's stamina consumption, his charged attack is consuming less stamina than it should. This will be fixed in the update on March 30th. Along with that, they've stated that they will issue compensation for this bug. Usually, compensation means primogems. This has happened in the past and Hoyoverse have compensated players with 100 primogems per bug fix. If they're giving primogems for issues like this, then they should give us 1000 primos for all the issues that Dhyat has. Now let's talk about the 3.6 banners. According to reliable sources, Phase 1 of 3.6 will consist of Beizu and Ganyu. And Phase 2 of 3.6 will consist of Nilu and Nahida. Further less reliable leaks show that 3.7 banners don't include Kazuha or Eula. This is really concerning, but to be honest, I highly doubt the credibility of this leak, so I urge you to not rely on leaks too much anymore. Speaking of leaks, what are you guys opinion on leaks, should they happen? More and more story, event, and new area leaks have been popping up. I personally think only the banner leaks should exist as it helps free to play players plan their primogems. Let me know what you think of leaks in the comments. Thanks for watching.